Yeah. My name's John, I'm in the Gentleman and Rose Club. I'm here having my beard trim today. I actually manage one of the pubs around the area, so uh, yeah, let's go for it. I like to freehand the beard, especially when I'm doing the, this bit of shaping. Just makes it a lot easier for you for, for you to see exactly what I've done straight away, rather than me cut, cutting one side and you're always looking in the mirror as well. So then I scoop it round, scoop it round, and then we scoop round. I'm really, really cautious about taking the length of the front here because you've obviously, you know, we're taking time to grow this, so I have to be respectful of the fact that, you know, I know how long it takes to grow a beard, so. I like, I like, I like to be really kind. So I look at it like this triangle here, this triangle here, and I like to blend that, that, that section out. <laughs> Just because it softens into the growth. And it's that slight blend from nothing to the beard. Otherwise the beard's gonna look like they're actually stuck on. Which we don't really want, mate, do we? We don't want people like, I think that stuck on is that, oh look at guys, bought him, bought himself a nice beard. Oh yeah. Just making sure that it looks nice and even and just nice and tidy. So I'm going to start with a nice bottom line here. And this just gives me a nice guideline to start with and build off that shape. So bristle brush on this kind of hair, just pull it through. And then anything that's stray in a minute, we'll trim with scissors. Okay, so to create shape now, we're going to start on the heel. See the see the lip here now. How how do you want to trim that? Do you want to kind of uh, put like a mermaid's tail, or do you want to kind of just trim across the, the lip, nice and tight? Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm just going to take just enough to clear that top lip. We're going to come down from the top of the cheek because I can see there's a lot of hair at the top. So you can't push too high on the eye socket here. So you're kind of pulling the skin over instead of pushing down. This is not a traditional kind of beard style either. It's kind of shaped up and it's meant to look really like sharp. I know that a lot of people in beard brand like the cheeks to not be touched and stuff but I think there's I think both styles look nice the old kind of kind of styles where it's just all grown out Just kind of freehanding it. You don't want to go too into it because that's going to start rounding, and sometimes a round beard can alter this, the face shape of the client. So I'm just kind of lining up the cheeks now before I razor it. His hairline grows, his hair grows up and this grows down, so it all automatically creates a line. We're just going to soften it a little bit more through there. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm just going to do a 0.5 just to kind of soften this line because I didn't want to go too into it. I just want to kind of give it like a natural taper. So, and just by clippering it down, it takes less beard hair off. So, really going to touch the chin as such through here. So, we're going down and then back up. <laughs> Shopping. Keep the lion's shape on it and yep. a pie. Yeah. And what kind of shape would you like in your beard? It's kind of like Viking shape. More pointy yeah. shape? Mm. No problem. And, and are you leaving it on the lip or taking it off? No, leave it. Leave it on the lip. Yeah. It's basically just tidy it up. Yeah. Quick shape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, darling. The best. Maisie is the best. Oh, Highly recommended. Bring this in tight, right? Yeah. So we're gonna kind of something like that. Yep. And just kind of keep this shape. Yeah. All right. She's got kind of a nice like V Viking thing going on right now. So we're gonna try to keep that yeah. as much as possible. Keep it up just a little bit. But I do want to get all this stuff that's uh, yeah. underneath him right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one step at a time. I see some guys put like a clipper guard on and then um, hit the beard like that. I prefer to do it freehand, that's just the way that I like to do it. Uh, we're gonna go real short. Uh, I've been growing this out for a while now, but uh, I wanna go back to that, like that short length. Uh, I just kinda wanna refresh. Uh, you guys are gonna see it's gonna be real short. Yeah, right. ah, let's do it. It's 
Civil War general type beard. You're considered that? I know the picture didn't have that, but... I always like to work from like a, a, a single side in, in beard trims like this because uh, it's always fun to see how drastic the change. adjustable and just uh, use the heel of the clipper to guide me. And since I know we're going to chop off some of this mustache as well, I'm just going to knock that down too. The two first. As a barber, you don't typically get someone that has such a high beard on the cheek, so this makes it really easy for you to fade. Um, it just gives you a lot more lead way. When you have a lower beard line, you know, it's a lot more room for error. So here, it just makes it easier for us to set the guidelines, put the lines in correctly, and fade the beard out the way the client would like it. And then with, with this, you can see I'm using just the corner of the two. And like I said, I use the corner on all my clippers to just create that blur. It gives it a jagged cut instead of a straight cut with the teeth. And again, with the one and a half open, combing after every cut, going down. And continuing to use the corner, continuing to comb through every time just to get loose hairs out of there. And then as I get closer to one, I start to bring it back this way, towards the face, using the same teeth. Don't forget to comb the hairs or brush the hairs off your razor. That'll also kind of hide things from you and you may end up going too deep. Unfortunately, no treasures in here yet. Nah, I, I, I washed it before I came. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude, my beard was long. Oh wow! Yeah, still looks fantastic though. Yeah. Oh no, I'm I'm very I'm very blessed as far as uh, 
facial hair. It's, uh, I got a lot of it. So even if I start losing the top more, like, I was talking to Brzezinski about it too. He thinks I should definitely do the bald and, and bearded once it's like You're, you time would, to go. You would look amazing. Yeah. You would look amazing. Damn, right on the money. Five huh. inches. Five? It's great. So like we've done in previous beard trims, backhand, front hand, not changing the sitting position, keeping my position as I am. So I'm not looking at it from different angles when I try to get different sides of it, and then you end up with a lopsided beard. <laughs> hair on the side here you want to be able to tie, tie up you can still tie this up because it's still long enough and ultimately you know if your beard looks wispy it looks like you haven't looked after it and it looks like you can't grow a proper beard so it's about sacrificing a little bit of the length to make it look much much healthier girth is much better than length on the moustache, what we're going to do to keep with the fullness, I want to keep the length. But just to create a little bit of interest and shape, I'm just going to go in. I'll just give that little V shape in there just so that it opens up a little bit easier for him to work with at home when you push it out you get more of a moustache shape and then when you want to wear it, wear it flat you can still see your lips and you can still drink coffee and eat food and you know you can still have that big moustache big moustache and have the ability to eat and drink without it getting everywhere so it's a good tip just keeping that Three and a half, right about there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go just a little bit longer, okay, and see how it shrinks up uh, without that extra weight, and it, it, it might bounce up a little bit. And I don't want to make it too much of a dramatic change if it doesn't need to be. Oh, okay, because I mean, half is pretty pretty wild already. I'm gonna go straight out on this first one and then we'll start to dial in the shape if, uh, if we need to. Now, how much time have you put into this, into this beard? And this, um, a little over two years. Yeah. That's amazing. The ends of your hair have been on your face and part of your body for two years. That's, uh, that's wild. That's why it's really important to take care of, of those things as soon as you start considering growing up. Yeah, right there, three and a half. Did you ever get competitive when you were riding the motocross stuff? No, it was pretty hard where we're from. You had to make uh, a drive, yeah. drive out everywhere. And then you gotta have some backup money to fix oh, bikes. Oh and yeah, all that it's stuff. an expensive hobby, man. Yeah.
great lighter <laughs> a lot lighter fresh i came in here with somewhat of an open mind at least to try to do something different than what i normally do and very very happy with, with what came out awesome something new and thank you thank you guys for having me whoever knew sweat could smell so good i did because i've been using beard brand's new deodorant grab it at beardbrand.com